Smollett, as Mike mentioned, they're actually returning tonight to the Chicago set of Empire shortly after his release from police custody. 20th Century Fox Television still considering its options, it says, about how to handle the situation. Meanwhile, TNT has pulled Smollett's upcoming appearance on the popular rap battle show, Drop the Mic. Our media watchdog, Howie Kurtz, takes the story from there. The chilling account of assault by Jussie Smollett drew worldwide media attention before it collapsed today, with harsh words from Chicago's police superintendent, who accused the actor of despicable conduct, but also scolded the media. The accusations within this phony attack received national attention for weeks. Celebrities, news commentators, and even presidential candidates weighed in on something that was choreographed by an actor. Democratic candidates Kamala Harris, Cory Booker, and Kirsten Gillibrand all embraced Smollett's allegation of being beaten by Trump supporters shouting MAGA country on a Chicago street as undisputed fact, with Harris and Booker calling it a modern-day lynching. Many news organizations stuck to the facts, attributing the allegations to a star on the Fox show Empire and reporting that the police were seriously investigating. When there were red flags, why did Smollett delay in calling the police? Why was he hesitant to turn over his phone? They reported that, too. The story picked up steam when Good Morning America gave Smollett a platform with few skeptical questions. I see the uh, attacker uh, masked, and he said, this MAGA country punches me right in the face. So I punched his back. And then um, we started tussling. You know, it was very icy. And some journalists used the actor's account to score political points. Washington Post Global Opinions editor Karen Ataya. Regarding the heinous attack on Jussie Smollett, yet another reminder that Trump's ascendance and the resulting climate of hate has meant that lives have been increasingly at stake since 2015. BuzzFeed writer Kevin Fallon. Anyone who thinks supporting you-know-who is in tantamount to providing artillery for weaponized bigotry needs to take a hard look in the mirror. CNN host Don Lemon says he privately spoke to Smollett every day. And if Jussie's story isn't true, he squandered the goodwill of a whole lot of people. He even lied to a lot of people, if it's not true, including me. And that's not cool. Many journalists said privately that Smollett's story didn't quite add up from the start. They couldn't say that publicly without facts, but some of those who tried to exploit the story should have waited for more facts. Shannon? All right, Howard Kurtz, thank you very much.